two years after the Emancipation Proclamation was signed that they were free. Our Iman Boyd was at the rally tonight as well and talked to a man who says this day is a hard one for him and his family. Take it down. Protesters in downtown Lafayette chanting to have the statue of General Alfred Mouton removed. Kevin Ross says he attended the rally because the standing of Mouton statue is a standing representation of a time in history when black people were used and treated like property instead of human being. Too much over the course of my lifetime uh, that has, has kind of been swept under the rug. A lot of misinformation non-education. Opelousa's native Kevin Ross says Juneteenth brings about a tragic memory in his family. 20 years ago today, while living in Texas, a group of men burned a large cross in front of his home. Ross says it's something that has taken a toll on his entire family. Juneteenth has a special place in our hearts as a family. And uh, and again, um, it came as a result of, of some violence. There was talk of those in attendance Friday evening taking down the statue themselves. Move the Mindset organizer Fred Prejean said taking a violent approach to getting this type of thing done isn't progress. It's more of a setback. Prejean encouraged attendees to remain peaceful and continue to do the work. It's time for everybody to wake up and be responsible for their part in the problem. Um, it's, it's time for everybody to work together to make the changes to change that. We just hope that uh, their lives are not, were not in vain, their lives were not taken in vain, and that we can do our small part to, to hopefully continue on with change. Take it down. Lafayette, John Boy, KTC, TV3. Well, Juneteenth celebrated all across Acadiana today. In downtown Lafayette earlier, uh, Acadiana Black held a party to commemorate the 